This is the first video in the Guide to Beautiful Singing series. Today we will be talking about good posture for singing. As a singer, your body is your instrument, so it is really important to make sure that everything is in alignment to allow for free breath flow. So to start out with, make sure your feet are shoulder width apart with one foot slightly in front of the other. This allows for a solid base. Next, your knees are comfortably relaxed. Your hips should be tucked under. And a good way to check this is to put your hands on your hip bones and make sure your fingers are going straight down, not tilted forward or back. Your abdomen is your power source when you're singing. So it's really important to keep it flexible throughout the whole singing process. Now, if you'll roll your shoulders back and down, you'll notice your chest ends up in a comfortably high position. That's ideal for singing because it allows room for expansion of the lungs. Now, you want to make sure that your neck and head are in line with your spine as if there's a string lifting at the nape of your neck. A good way to check whether or not your head and neck are in line with your spine is to go against a wall. If you bring your feet out about a foot, bend your knees and flatten your lower back, your shoulders and your head against the wall, notice how this alignment feels. Then when you come away from the wall, see if you can maintain that same position. For many, it feels uncomfortable at first, but I promise you'll get used to it. Last, your face and eyes are expressive conduits while you're singing. So don't forget to reflect, particularly in your eyes, what you're singing about. So, these are some basic components of good posture for singing, and I have included a description of these in uh, the section below. If you ever have any questions, feel free to send me a note. I have included my email, and I wish you very happy singing.